Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my clean with me slash cleaning routine, just showing you my routine of cleaning and my favorite products and everything I use to get my house really nice and fresh and clean in the order I do them and how I do things. So without further ado, let's get into my routine. First things first is I always make my bed. I'm a firm believer in making my bed every single day. I feel like it helps you have a better day, but also just helps your room look more clean. So I'm making the bed. Also, Bradley normally helps me with all this stuff, but he was working on other stuff around the house this day. So you'll see him a little bit, but I'm just starting by making the bed and then I'm going to dust off all the countertops. So I'm moving all the stuff so I can just really dust. And I'm using my Swiffer duster, which I love this thing. I will link it down below. Um, it just really helps get up all the dirt and dust. And then I'm going in with my Method Wood for Good almond daily cleaner this stuff smells so good i've used it for years on all the wood surfaces in my house it's safe and really gets it clean and looks shiny and then i'm putting all the stuff back onto the countertop i rearranged some things a little bit so i'm just doing that and then i'm going to continue to dust the other surfaces the same way i did for that one and i also like to get the corners of the drawers and the baseboards and the furniture and just really dust everything. And I'm also going to diffuse some oil. I like to diffuse normally jasmine oil in the bedroom. Sometimes I do orange, but I just really like jasmine in there. And this is my doTERRA petal diffuser. And then I'm going to open the windows, which I couldn't get that one open, but I'm just gonna let in a little bit of fresh air, which I think is nice while cleaning. Then I'm just going to continue to do the dusting around the rest of the furniture, pretty self-explanatory. And then I'm going to use a little bit of Windex. Um, I know I've tried the Method glass cleaner and it just is too streaky for me. And I know I can make my own Windex, but I'm just like so lazy. So I'm just using Windex on the mirror and whatever's left on the TV. And then I'm using it all over the mirrored closet doors and Windex just works. And I usually use rags for all my cleaning surfaces, but I find that paper towels is less streaky on glass. So after that, everything is nice and clean. I do still have to vacuum, we'll do that at the end, but everything looks nice and fresh. Have my aloe plant and some nice flowers Bradley gave me. And yeah, everything's just looking good. So moving on to the bathroom, I do like to clean from left to right. I don't know why, it's just how I do things. But again, I'm starting with Windex on the mirrors, which Bradley makes the mirrors disgusting. I never had dirty mirrors until I started living with Bradley, so it's his fault. But then I'm gonna go in with my Method Anti-Back All-Purpose Wildflower Cleaner. I love this stuff so much. It smells so good. Doesn't smell chemically, doesn't give me a headache, but really gets things nice and clean. And I'm just taking a rag. I got these rags in a pack of like six from Anthropology, which is really random, but any rag will do. Um, and I'm just gonna clean the surfaces, clean off um, all the things I keep on my counter, which is my Lush jar. And then I have this little tray dish to hold the soap and the toothbrushes, and I'm just gonna give that a good clean as well. And once that's all clean, I put it back and I just replace all the stuff. I do like to clean this little cup that I keep my toothbrushes in with my dish detergent or my dish soap. And then I'm just going to place everything back and then do the same for the other side. And like I said, this stuff is just the best. They do have other scents, but I prefer this one for the bathroom. Um, and I'm just also cleaning the sink and um, the appliances as well, just to get everything nice and shiny and dust free. I almost dropped the rag in the toilet, but I didn't, so we're good. So I'm just getting the surface nice and clean, then replacing everything. And then I'm moving on to the toilet. I do like to switch to paper towels for the toilet, just because I feel like it's more sanitary, but I do use that same method anti-back and just clean the top surfaces of the toilet and the seat. The seat is pink because of that rose gold tint I told you about, whoopsie, stay in the toilet. And then I'm using the Clorox wand to really clean that toilet bowl. I love that stuff, I'll link it below. And then I'm just using the same spray to clean the surfaces of the shower. Also in an effort to keep the shower clean, we use this Method Daily Shower Spray. You spray it on after every shower and it keeps the walls really clean and we squeegee the doors every day. But after that, everything is nice and clean. I put out some fresh white towels, which are gorgeous. And yeah, everything's just looking dust free and shiny and clean. And that's my cute painting that my sister-in-law made me. But then we're moving on to the living room, setting the mood, turning on the fireplace, turning on the rock salt lamp and diffusing some oil. I've been obsessed with um, orange and peppermint. I got the Citrus Bliss oil from doTERRA. I'm not loving it as much as the wild orange, but it still smells really good. So I'm just getting that nice fresh scent pumping in the air as I clean. 
And again, I'm just gonna be doing some more dusting. I also like to take this time to water any plants that are looking a little sad. So I took my friends to the sink. I'm just gonna give them a nice little bath and then I let them sink and, oh, let them sit in the sink for a second to drain out any water and then I'll replace them later. So they're just gonna be happy in their little bath time. So then I'm gonna go back to dusting and cleaning. Same thing I did in the bedroom on the wood surfaces. I'm using the Swiffer duster and then the wood spray. I like to use the duster first just because spraying onto dust usually is a big hot mess. So getting the dust up first or most of the dust up first is usually pretty helpful. So I'm just going to do that on all the wood furniture, including the entertainment system. Um, I'm even gonna get a little fresh and um, clean the vinyl mations, which whoops, dropped some. But when I'm really getting down and dirty cleaning, I will remove all of them, dust and clean the little um, thing they sit in. And then I will dust each individual one because the sun does hit them. So they do get a little bit dusty, but there they are, all cute. Then I'm going to dust the top of the entertainment system and all the picture frames. If it's really dusty up there, I'll remove everything and do a spray down, but it wasn't that bad this day. Um, and again, just kind of hitting everything with the duster, making sure everything is just dust free. I get a lot of questions about this clock. We got it at Home Goods if you're interested. And yeah, just continuing to dust. That's my life when I'm cleaning is really using that Swiffer duster, which by the way, I will link everything that I'm using or talking about in this video as far as cleaning products. Um, so yeah. Then I'm moving on to the kitchen table, removing the fruit bowl and again, back with the Windex. Um, and I've had this kitchen table since I was born. They gave me this when I moved out because they got a new kitchen table. So I've been cleaning this kitchen table since I was like eight. So I'm really used to that. <laughs> Oh, and there's Bradley. I told you you'd see him. He was actually, while I was doing this, replacing our pink lights with green lights for St. Patrick's Day. So that was nice. Then I'm moving on to the kitchen. Uh, same thing goes. I'm using this Method all-purpose lime and sea salt cleaner, which this is my favorite one for the kitchen. It says it cuts grease and it really, really does. I find this to be a very effective cleaner, but again, smells really good. Doesn't smell chemically at all. And I use um, paper towels in the kitchen for some reason. I don't know. I use paper towels for the toilet, the mirrors, and um, the kitchen. Everything else I use rags, but I'm just hitting the surfaces and then dusting everything else. And then I'm taking this Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Baking Soda Cl Cream Cleanser, which you could make your own uh, baking soda cleanser, but like this one is really cheap. It smells really good and it's really effective on getting your appliances shiny. So I'm just squirting that all into the sink, giving it a good scrub with the brush, rinsing it away and then drying it. And it makes your stainless steel look so pretty. So then I'm just going to continue to wipe down the rest of the counters, pretty self-explanatory. Just make sure I get all the appliances as well. And yeah, so I'm out of things to say. <laughs> But um, I hate cleaning the stove, I will say that. I freaking hate it, but I do it because you have to. Oh, and if I do need to clean the fridge, I use these stainless steel wipes, I'll link them below. Then after everything is dusted and cleaned, I will go in with my vacuum. I have some sort of Dyson ball vacuum, which works pretty great. I've had it for maybe eight, nine, 10 years. It works great. That's uh, too many years, maybe seven, six. I don't know. Okay, so whoops, the door shut. Um, so I'm just vacuuming everything, just trying to get up everything. I go in with the um, big vacuum first. If it needs it, I'll go in with the Swiffer duster, and then I will go in with the Swiffer wet mop thing. So I don't have the Swiffer wet jet. I have the standalone thing that you could put the dry pads on it or the wet pads, and I like that one so much better. We had the Swiffer wet jet, and this just works so much better. So I am just mopping up all the floors. I don't do this every time I clean, but I do try to do it a couple times a month. And then once everything is dry, I will replace all the mats, which I took up for vacuuming. And that is it, you guys. That is my full cleaning routine. I hope you enjoyed it. Just a look at how I do things around here, how things get clean. There's nothing better than a fresh, clean apartment. Am I right? I am right. Okay. I'm out of things to say, so I'm gonna go, but I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below telling me your favorite cleaning product or something you like to do for cleaning. I don't know. Let's just talk down below, but I love you guys. I'll see you very soon with the new video and I'll talk to you later. Bye.